Thank you for staying tuned uh, to this health segment now on Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, today we've got Olatubi Olawale. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. He's an alumnus of College of Medicine of the University of Lagos, a physiotherapist with specialty in sports medicine and orthopedics uh, rehabilitation, following his special interest in injury prevention in sports with years of experience in orthopedic uh, rehabilitation. Uh, he's here today to talk about the importance of exercising. Uh, that's uh, exercise is medicine. We should probably put that as a, as a hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag exercise is medicine. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Now, when we talk about uh, exercise, of course, uh, most people immediately cringe. Like, I don't want to do exercise. I don't like to do exercise. Uh, so w when you talk about exercise as a form of medicine, what do you mean? Okay, exercise is in medicine, actually. Exercise is medicine. It's a, it's a global initiative okay. that calls for physical activity to be part of a medical treatment for patients. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go to the field to play football. What this initiative is just trying to say is that you just have to be physically, physically active. Okay. So it's just calling for physical activity to be part of a medical treatment. And it's calling for medical practitioners and like doctors, healthcare professionals to include um, physical activity as part of a treatment, okay. treatment plan and assessing patient. When a patient comes for treatment, you should assess the level of your physical activity. They ask you, like, when you go to the clinic for, your, for, for, for examination, they ask you, when was the last time you did this? When was the last time you, they check you for your temperature, they take for, check for your pulse, check for your blood pressure. Physical activity should be checked too. So uh, exercise is medicine. It's just a global initiative that calls for physical activity in the in healthcare program, um, system. Okay, so I'm really curious about something. Uh, we've established the need for exercise uh, in medicine, but what kind of diseases can exercise actually prevent? Exercise can prevent majorly non-communicable diseases. Oh, okay. I was mm. thinking along the lines of non coronavirus. Dis no, no, not coronavirus. Coronavirus is um, very it's communicable. It's communicable. Yeah, so that's true. Non-communicable diseases like um, heart problems, heart, heart, heart problems, heart failure, it's kind okay. of cancer. Okay. And Some cancers can be prevented by exercise. Yes, cancer wow. can be prevented by exercise and um, heart problem because um, one thing that one of the leading cause of death in, in the world actually is heart diseases, mm. and it's because of the level of um, low level of physical um, activity. So when you are physically inactive, you are prone to having um, heart diseases, okay. and obesity and overweight. Okay. Because, um, we yeah. when you check um, a lot of. Um, people with are obese, they are prone to having this coronary heart, then this um, heart disease. Heart disease. This yeah. heart disease. So, so um, um, con non communicable diseases like um, heart diseases, cancer, obesity, and overweight can be prevented from uh, by exercise. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at some of these diseases. Um, let, let's um, narrow them down. Can you mention a few of the diseases and uh, what exercises can be done to help prevent them? No, um, hypertension. Okay. Hypertension can be prevented by exercise. Okay. Now, one thing about um, exercise is that um, physical activity is that the healthcare practitioner must um, prescribe exercise for you. Okay. You don't just go and just do exercise in here because you need to check because every health condition has the level of exercise you can do. Okay. So the level of excitement you can even um, yes get because when you are prescribing exercise, there's a, there's an acronym for prescribing exercise called okay. F I T F I T T. That means okay. you have to check for the frequency. The intensity. Okay. You have to check the type of exercise you want to do. Frequency, intensity, the type. Okay. Yes. You have to check for the type of exercise you want to do. Okay. With the frequency now, what kind of exercise? I do? Is it three times a week? Is it five times a week? Is it every day? And one thing about exercise, the regular time for exercise, at least 150 minutes a week. 150 minutes a week. That's even more than you have to. Okay. Yeah. Well, around 15 minutes a week, that's approximately 3, 30 minutes per, for five days. Yeah. So you can, but exercise must be prescribed by an experienced um, healthcare provider, um, provider. Okay. So there's, there's no definite exercise for a particular disease. It's usually um, taken, given or rather prescribed according to the discretion of the doctor. Yes. Not the discretion, actually. According to the disease now, because okay. there are some people that are hypertensive. Okay. You can tell someone that is hypertensive to go and start playing football and using all the energy and 
the person can slum than that. So what, what kind of disease would you recommend if, uh, you know, playing football for, for example? Uh, um, playing football, for, for example, before you go for exercise, actually, you check your blood pressure. Okay. Check all your vitals. So every time you want to get, get um, you know, go for an exercise, you have to check your blood pressure. Very, very important. Um, blood pressure, your blood pressure should be checked regularly. Okay. Regardless of any how you exercise you're doing. But you check your blood pressure, check your pulse. So football, you can go play football. Like someone like me now, I can go play football. Okay. At least if I play football 30 minutes a day, every, for 30, 30 minutes a day for five days, I'm physically active. Okay. Now, one thing about exercise, right, what I tell people is that you don't need to go to the field to play football before you are physically active. Bricks walking is okay. Aha, uh because -huh. I, I was, I was going to ask you that. Uh, does it have to be just uh, playing football uh, no. or strenuous activities? Uh, no. Because I know some people exercise simply by working briskly. Yes. Some people exercise in the gym, you know, some people lift um, weights. You know what? Let's even start from the different kinds of exercise. <laughs> yeah, we have different Let's kinds of exercise, that. actually. Because yeah. one, there are, there's a kind of exercise we call aerobic exercises. Uh, that should be with walking, I think. The walking, yeah. the jogging. The, any exercise that has to do with you breathing when, when exercising, the aerobic okay. exercises, the walking, the jogging, the bricks walking, okay. the swimming, aerobic exercises. Okay. Then there's another kind of exercise called the muscle strengthening exercise. The strengthening muscle exercise. strengthening exercise. The strengthening exercise. Okay. That means you go to the gym, you want to add more muscles, you want to get more strength. Exercise. That's that kind of exercise. Okay. There's another exercise that's um, is, um, flexibility, that's stretching exercises. Okay. That's okay. you want to be flexible. Maybe your body still, you just want to be flexible. Okay. That's another kind of exercise. Then another kind of exercise is called um, neuromuscular, neuromuscular exercise. Okay. That is for um, agility, for strength, okay. for balance. Okay. So people that need balance and coordination, that's kind of exercise. So for you to go for exercise, you know, have to do what kind of exercise do I want to do? Okay, so the flexible one, is that where yoga falls under? Yeah, kind of yoga falls okay, under. Okay, so it's, it's, it can exercise. be recommended for, for people, especially those who have disease perhaps, the joint to calm pain, them down, joint pain as joint well. Pain, joint pain and muscle okay. pain, you can okay. just stretch. Stretching exercise is very fine for them. So someone who is suffering from arthritis, for example, should probably do more yoga. Is that what you're suggesting? Someone suffering from arthritis could do more of, um, stretching exercises. Okay. okay. Stretching exercises. Okay. Fine. Okay, okay. All right, so um, now that we've established what diseases might require this, and we've also talked about the different kind of exercises, uh, I, I, I want us to narrow it down to one or two of them. Okay, so, say for example, um, someone comes to you with uh, uh, perhaps frequent tiredness. Okay. What kind of exercise would you say that person should um, utilize? Yeah. When someone comes in with frequent tiredness, that's fatigue, when you come yes, in with frequent fatigue. tiredness, the first thing we do need to do is we need to check okay. what is causing this frequent tiredness. Okay. Because uh, there might be, might be at this, the person's heart disease, maybe the person's having a heart problem. So it might be someone's um, the general body. So we need to check first. After checking, we know that, okay, this, so we recommend exercise. Okay. Now for someone like that, if I want to recommend exercise for someone like that, I would not recommend the person to go and start running. Okay. okay. I would not recommend the person to start playing football or basketball. Okay. All I can just tell the person is, okay, you can just take a walk around your house. Okay. Not minutes. necessarily brisk. Not necessarily brisk. There are kind of exercises. There. there is a mild exercise. There's moderate exercise. There's vigorous exercise. Okay. Now, that kind of person, you recommend a mild to moderate exercise for that kind of person. Okay. Not a vigorous kind of exercise. Now. Okay. The mild to me. So if I take a walk around my, my sitting room, my room, just a normal walk for 10 minutes. It's just a mild kind of exercise. Okay. Now, moderate exercise, if I take a brisk walk, maybe from for 10, 15 minutes, brisk walking when you sweat, that's moderate. Vigorous exercise now, maybe when I jog, when I, ro when I run, that's vigorous exercise. For someone that gets tired easily, I wouldn't recommend a vigorous exercise for the person. Yeah. I would recommend a mild or a moderate exercise. Okay, so now, doctor, for, for those who you know, everyday living is important. It's, yes. it's important to maintain certain things on the daily. Yes. It's one thing to say this can help th this disease, but I believe more in preventive measures. So for an average individual, what kind of exercises would you recommend for an average individual to actually practice every day, just at least to avoid diseases in general and to also elongate their lives? The, the, the call for this exercise in medicine is just to preach to people that um, stop living a sedentary lifestyle. 
just to avoid living a sedentary, sedentary lifestyle. lifestyle. Try if as much as possible to be, be active. physically active. Physically active. Physically active, you can be physically active in your house doing your house chores. Okay. Just doing your house chores, washing, sweeping, uh, shoveling, gardening. Just and everything. about anything. Just, about, just be physically active. Okay. Because uh, uh, there are three kind of factors that causes um, death and um, longevity in human beings. One is genetic. Okay. One, the second one is behavioral. And the third one is an, um, environmental. But well, the most important thing is to be active. Be active. All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> Dr. Olawali Olatubi. Thank you very it's much. It's always a pleasure to have you in the studio with Thank us. Thank you very much.